Alright everybody, welcome to a new video. This one's gonna be a quick one, not too long. Uh, how are you guys tired of Black Ops Cold War multiplayer? Do you guys think it's way too hard, way too annoying, way too irritating? Do you think it's a good game but the skill based matchmaking just makes it a lot worse? Well, here's your fix. Alright, so this is how you enjoy the game. In my opinion, this is how I enjoy the game. So first of all, you're gonna want to have a weapon that you enjoy to use. Uh, for me, this is the AK-74U. I really do enjoy it. Um, usually, th it's the f the thing with Call of Duty is is that it's never really how the gun performs, but more how the gun feels that uh, makes you really enjoy using that gun a lot more. And I just like the way the AK-74U feels. I like the reload. I like the sounds. And it, uh, gameplay wise, it's decent. You can use the MP5. I I used to grind with the MP5 hard. It used to be my main, but uh, I don't like it too much. I like the XM4, but I don't like it that too much. AK74U so far has is the weapon that mostly satisfied me. So what you want to do is you want to take your weapon, and obviously you're gonna want to modify the living shit out of it. Now, um, basically. The thing is, is that uh, with weapon uh, leveling, when when you come when it comes to leveling up your weapons in Cold War, um, it is a pain in the ass. I have to admit, just because uh, it's really hard to level up weapons as well. Not hard, but just it takes forever to level them up. Uh, my recommendations are this: first of all, please don't go hardcore Nuketown. Uh, people really people grind hardcore Nuketown 24/7. But it's it's so annoying because even though everyone is a one shot, you are a one shot too, and sometimes it, it gets really really irritating. So for me personally, I would like to grind in zombies. You can grind in multiplayer too. You can even grind the weapons in Warzone now. Um, so I'm gonna quickly explain a quick method on how to level up on all three games. First of all, multiplayer. I recommend you to maybe hop on to. Nuketown 24-7, core of course, um, if you think you can uh, deal with having to die over and over and over again in Warzone, uh, not Warzone, in um, Hardcore, then go for it because the Hardcore multiplayer is going to make you level up your weapon a lot faster because everyone is a one shot, um, maybe two shot if you're unlucky, that's how overpowered the weapons are in Hardcore. Um, and if you're gonna do it in zombies, the idea is you're gonna want to do the penthouse strat to level up your weapons. There's a really good detailed uh, guide on how to level up your weapons in zombies. If you guys want to see that, uh, there'll be a link in the description, the video tutorial um, on how to do that. And the reason why you would like to grind in zombies is because if you're tired of PvP, it's it's a nice it's a nice way to save yourself a headache and the final way is warzone the easiest way in my opinion in warzone is to do afk grinding and the way you do that is you launch plunder by yourself or with your friends if obviously if you're in a party the more people are in your lobby there's the more xp you'll get uh, weapon xp you'll get and you choose a loadout that has the weapon you want for black ops cold war and plunder then you just chain recon contracts over and over and over again all you do is just recon the entire thing if you have double XP active, it makes it even better because with each recon contract, um, you will probably level up your weapon once with each recon contract. Now, some people do find this slower, but by far, this is the best method for brain dead grinding. Every now and then, there will be this one enemy who will try to go after you, and you will have to kill him, of course, but that should also uh, level up your weapon. Um, so, finally, uh, actually when it comes to the loadout so my recommendations are you want to stay alive as long as possible so screw getting a stun grenade and go for stim shot that's my recommendation you can heal yourself it'll make your life so much easier your lethal grenades um, either bring a frag or a semtex now I personally prefer the semtex but if you like the type if you like to be the type of guy who likes bouncing stuff off the wall the frags for you but I like the Semtex because, I don't know, I just find it more convenient that it sticks to walls. But sometimes it does annoy me that it doesn't bounce off the wall. And your field upgrade. Now, this may be, sound weird to you guys, but the idea is you're going to want to bring an assault pack. And I'll explain to you why. So if you read this, it says supply cache containing ammo that gives bonus score for taking down enemies. So anyone 
who takes your ammo from this and kills someone with it will give you score. And if you use your own ammo from the assault pack to kill enemies, you're gonna get more score as well. Then, with one of your perks, if you also pair it with assassin, you're going to be um, you're going to be getting your uh, kill streaks a lot faster as if you if you just go kill anyone because like basically if you kill someone who's on a kill streak you get extra score and even if you're not looking for them if you're just killing anyone you will eventually kill one of these guys this way you will get your score streaks incredibly fast and this is great because one of the biggest problems with black ops cold war is the score streaks uh, they take forever to grind uh, uh, for or collect and so that's why you want to have assassin finally I recommend getting the perk read wild card and so in perk 2 you can have both assassin and gearhead and the reason why I think gearhead is good is because you can have two assault packs at once and your assault packs will l uh, charge a lot faster um, also in perk 1 I would recommend anything that would make your life easier Personally, I prefer Flak Jacket and Tactical Mask. You can go for Paranoia, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, just unless you're gonna play in a map like Satellite all day, if that's your thing. And for Perk 3, finally, uh, I do recommend Ninja as one of your perks. Because um, people will, won't hear you. Because Ninja, as it says, look, move more quietly, speak only when necessary. It'll be harder for people to know you're coming unless you, they actually see you. And Ghost just so that you don't get detected by spy, pla uh, spy planes you can replace it in uh, spycraft though uh, but it's it's useless in my opinion uh, so ghost and ninja is just the way you would like to go that's my recommendation personally finally your secondary bring anything you want you can bring a launcher if you want to take down choppers but my personal recommendation is the gallo shotgun just because i really love using this because you just spam it and you kill if you're a good shot, bring the Howler, because the Howler, at worst, you'll kill someone with two shots. Because with the Gallo, you'll need like four or five shots to kill someone, which uh, sometimes can be a pain. Um, so you go, so use the Gallo if you have got a good trigger finger, and use the Howler if you got good aim. Um, I wouldn't recommend any of the pistols, because they're not too good. Uh, if you're wondering how I got my 1911 to level max without going insane, I just leveled it up with zombies because I feel like that's the easiest way to level up pistols for me. The Magnum is the only thing I'm scared of leveling up because the Magnum, in my uh, opinion, is quite ass in zombies. The Amati, I think I can do it. But, yeah, so that's all my recommendations. So now that we got our loadout, that's the biggest important thing. Let's go to our score streaks. Now, score streaks, they're, they're the thing in Call of Duty that make you... Uh, that that will make or break your game. Uh, you can either use your own score streaks, which you can use to an advantage so well that you can uh, dominate the battlefield, or you or if someone else uses it in the enemy team, you can be completely screwed. So score streaks up to personal preference. But the thing is, is that you'll be earning these score streaks a lot more, so you can go a bit higher than you usually do if you want to. So the score streaks I bring is a spy plane, and uh, armor plates, and also war machine. Now what a harp is, is that it's a UAV, except it's not a radar sweep, and it's like um, an advanced UAV, or the orbital VSAT, if you know what that is from the old Call of Duty games, or in Warzone, if you pop three UAVs at once, that's basically what this is. Um, and... Uh, I don't recommend the attack helicopter. That's all I'm gonna say. Don't don't bring the attack helicopter because uh, someone with the tank hunter loadout can just shoot this down with one magazine. Air patrol, it's up to you. Uh, unless uh, you can bring it, if you feel like you always run into people who bring in orbital V sets and stuff, shouldn't be too much of an issue. <coughs> Chopper gunner, I don't recommend it because there isn't too many people who actually leave the buildings in this game. Um, Unless you're gonna play on a map like a raid and the nuke time, but I'll talk about that later. Gunship is just useless. VTOL, v VTOL escort is probably the thing, like the highest score streak that you're gonna want to go for. Now, my recommendations for someone who thinks that they can't protect themselves so well is a spy plane, armor, and war machine. After all, I am just a casual player. 
I can try hard, but that doesn't mean I'll get shit done. Uh, cruise missile is useless. Artillery is useless. Air patrol is useless. Na well, not air patrol. Uh, napalm is useless. You can bring a care package if you want to, but it is just a hit or miss. And combat bow is your choice, but you better hope you can aim with it. RC is useless. So, choose your, uh, choose your, uh, you know, your, um, score streaks, uh, accordingly. And once you've done that, finally, it comes to the final part, and that is your playlist. Now, there's two, my voice, there's two playlists that you're gonna want to focus on. And these two playlists, Raid 24-7 and Nuketown 24-7, are the only playlists where you'll run into maps that you will enjoy. Now first, if you don't see this playlist, if you go to quick play and hop into core, you should be able to see them, like Raid 24-7, Nuketown 24-7. And long story short, what this is, is that Raid is, uh, well, it's up to you personally, if you want to play on Nuketown or Raid. Now Nuketown is if you want to get high kills, but don't expect to get such a high KD. It's a small map, it's very chaotic, many noob tubes, and in Raid 24-7, we it's a bigger map. Uh, you'll get probably a lot less kills, but you should have a higher KD. Um, everything's a lot more smooth, it isn't as chaotic. And um, this is what you'd like to go for if you don't want to sweat your balls off. But if you do want to sweat your balls off, sweat your balls off on Nuketown. Don't do it on something like uh, uh, Satellite or uh, Moscow or uh, Cartel or Miami. Uh, even though Moscow is actually uh, a decent map, it's like <laughs> obviously Raid and Nuketown is a lot better. So from here you can click off the video, but in case you guys are wondering and want to see me do a match, here we go, I'm going to do uh, Raid 24-7, uh, because Raid is one of my favorite maps in COD ever. Um, so, uh, the thing is with Call of Duty, uh, not Call of Duty, with uh, Call of Duty player, I'm not a good player, I'm a casual player. And so, um, I, I'm definitely not going to guarantee anything, but I've never had this much fun in my life when I've been playing Cold War. Because the thing is, when you always stick to the meta weapons, you, you can't always have fun. you got to choose the weapons you like, and you got to make your life easier for yourself. If you, if you basically, uh, this might sound rude, so sorry for anyone, but I'm not trying to offend anyone. You're, if you basically... Uh, handicap yourself, you're not going to be enjoying it, obviously. Domination. So here we go. Domination, I actually don't like it, but Security. I'll still play. Just because it's raid. Secure the objective. Alpha secured. Enemy has Charlie. Taking Bravo. There we go. As you guys can see, the gallows just making it so much easier, a lot more fun. I know I'm drop shotting, but hey, other people do it too, so why can't I do it, you know? Losing A. I don't know what he's shooting at. I don't think there's someone there. Just to be sure, let's chuck a nade there. Let's quickly uh I was gonna heal. I don't have my soul pack ready, not yet. Securing Alpha. I was gonna get him. So another thing I recommend for most of your weapons is the drop shot wrap, especially your uh, your automatic weapons. Just because drop shotting, I know it's very scummy, but hey, others do it, so why can't you? And it just makes the game a lot more fun, I have to admit. Although it is irritating when someone drop shots you, but you know, can't stay hypocritical, I guess. So there we go, I already have a spy plane, see how fast that was? And soon I'm gonna get the assault pack, so it's gonna be even faster. Oops. Yeah, 
And one other recommendation for any weapon is go for fast mags. They, they'll make your life so much easier. There's nothing worse than getting a good streak and then dying because you were too busy reloading your gun. Look, I'm gonna enter the window. Boom! Get bodied, nerd. Ah, he got me. Nice one. So, I have my assault pack ready now. So, what's that? Alright. So, I'm gonna drop it somewhere, I guess, here. Let's pick up our assault pack shit and let's go. So now you'll see we're gonna get so much score so fast. If I don't die, of course. For Christ's sake. I already have my armor. Let's go somewhere safe. Place it. I should stay alive for a longer time period now. Okay, so someone's there. I gotta get him. So as you guys can see, that armor protected me from Mr. Bloop. Got you. Alright, so I lost that assault pack, which is disappointing. But I should get a new one pretty soon, because I have the Quartermaster perk. I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure. Oh, there we go, an assault pack right there. How convenient. Oh, it's my one. Enemy has Make sure you mark your assault packs so your teammates use it and you can get points as well. Oh, that's stupid. I don't know why I did that. Now you guys can see I'm a filthy casual. I'm not good in this game. Either that or everyone's just a huge tryhard. Because usually in other COD games, my KD is a lot higher. My KD in Black Ops 4, I think, was like 1.6. But in this game, it's like 0 0.8. And it's just, I'm, it's just, I'm getting more tired, man. School and all is just making it, it's not making it any easier. You know, I get on to relax after school. But you can't really relax. You gotta play so seriously as if you're, uh... Doing it for YouTube, but like as in not like what I'm doing right now, as in like as if you're a YouTuber kind of thing, and you gotta make money. Okay, pack. I already have my soul pack stuff. As you guys can see, I know it looks like I look like the type of guy who would never ever get a war machine. But I probably will, I'm assuming I might, just because of the perks and the assault pack. Wow, what a blooper. What a nerd. Jesus Christ. That was a close one, really. Oh, it's me. <laughs> I'm just drop shotting. Is it a quad feed? Uh I'm pretty sure uh, because I'm pretty sure I got another kill after that as well. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, man. I 
feel like the time to kill in this game is way too long. I mean, I prefer having a long time to kill because then it's not just getting lucky on who shoots first, but um but I I just just if it's way too long, it's it's completely skill. And I'm not a I'm a casual player as I've said 500 times. <laughs> I'm not the guy who you'd see get a nuke. No, no, no. I don't think I can even get a nuke if I reverse boost. Losing B. That's my friend. Name tag is so bugged. Nade at B. Sorry about that, bro. It's my friend. Now nah, I'm not getting a war machine this game, and if I do, I'm probably only going to be able to kill one person with it. Get some score. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? What an asshole. Losing B. We lost B. Enemy spy plane inbound. Oh wow, camp in the corner, what a surprise. And that's why I prefer some Texas. Uh, I can never talk too soon about anything in this game. Never ever. Look at this bunny hopping nerd. Fuck you. Fuck the nerds. Where is he? Don't tell me the decoy is sh shown as a person on the UAV. If that's the case, I'm gonna be mind blown. I'm just gonna be like, whoa, dude. Dude, what? For fuck's sake. Alright, and fuck you too, buddy. Jesus Christ, I don't want to see this. Imagine hard scoping, dude. Bro, I know fucking hard scoping. Not you, I'm talking about the guy who killed me. Ah, okay, bro. I want to get that war machine, but I, I'm not. The game's gonna end as soon as I get it. If I get a bit better, I'll eventually start getting it. Well, there you go. So, uh, in terms of how successful this match was, well, I I won the game, so I'm not gonna say anything really, to be honest with. And uh, of course, he got the play of the game. Really lucky. No skill. I could have done that too, but 
uh, that was that match was actually a lot enjoyable than 90% of the matches I go through in uh, in uh, Black Ops Cold War for sure, like for real. Uh, so let's continue. So yeah, that's that's it. Uh, that's the end of the video. All, all it really comes up to at the end of the day is you gotta choose the gun that you enjoy, man. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, see you later.